We've been out in the new forest at first light this morning. This is to find where the curlews are setting up their territories. And when we say a territory, that's the area in which they'll choose to nest. Quite a lot of courtship behavior going on, fluttering up in the air, lots of calling, males seeing other males off. These, these will be the areas that they choose to build and, and carry out their nesting activity. Eurasian curlews are the UK's largest breeding wader. They've got a great big long bent beak. Uh, they're sort of dappled brown colour. They spend their winter around the coastal areas, uh, marshes, estuaries, places like that. They come this time of year to the New Forest to nest. Uh, the habitats that we've got here are exceptionally um, suited for those birds. They've been here a long time and they're an iconic New Forest bird. Uh, sadly, they're in dramatic decline. There's a considerable effort and scientific research studying curlews specifically. Uh, this is looking at nest survival, territory and habitat types, and chick survival. What's actually driving the decline or why these birds aren't reproducing so we can get a better understanding of what's going wrong and what we can all do to help. And it would be incredibly sad for them to disappear from our landscape. They're very much a barometer species, so if the curly were doing poorly, most of the other species are probably going to be doing poorly as well. We're less than 40 breeding pairs, so they're in real trouble and we need to try and find any and every way in which we can help them. We're managing the habitat. We are researching what is happening to the birds at nest stage, at chick stage, and we are managing the predators to help reduce the, the impact on those birds. We're discovering an awful lot about the life cycle of the Eurasian curlew in the New Forest. Uh, we work very closely with various partners. Uh, there's quite a lot of scientific research. We've now got some satellite tags on some adult birds so we can see exactly where they go over winter, when they return to the forest, the areas in which they use. Uh, one of those individual birds known as Mrs O actually had a BTO ring on her leg. Um, the information has now come through that she's uh, a 30-year-old bird, which is pretty incredible. Um, we know that the oldest living curly that we know of is only 32 and a half years old. My hopes for Curlew would be to reverse the declines that we've seen over the last 25 to 30 years. And in the next 25 to 30 years, we really want to see these birds doing well and, and get the recruitment of these birds and build this population back up to what it should be.